Paige, are you not embarrassed? Can somebody collect Paige's family and friends? Where are they? Where are your friends? Where is her family? Somebody needs to stop her from embarrassing the family. Like, what is going wrong with these people? She's so beautiful, and I tell her every day. What going on? What are you saying? Welcome back to my channel, guys. Like, we're doing episode 10 of Married at First Sight. And listen, I have the tea here in this book. And I'm going to try and approach this differently this time. I am going to review each couple by couple instead of going by each scene by scene. You get the drift. And I am going to start with eric and fireball and i don't feel i should be calling her fireball this episode just because i don't think i've seen her took a drink this episode and i was so happy about the growth that she has exhibited because i'm just like this is what we wanted from the beginning like she's seeming like an, a real life adult <laughs> so anywho's basically what happened basically um uh, basically what happened basically <laughs> what happened in all of their scenes essentially was for some reason we opened up with a whole password episode and she just told the world what her passwords are so i'm hoping that she changes that because there are some serious yahoo boys out here and i'm like girl you can't be telling everybody that <laughs> your password is the same for everything like are you okay like is this thing that people do <laughs> okay so i hope she changes it and then they're discussing like exchanging passwords and i can see eric is on the no zone but he's just like well we can do we're going to instagram and liking pictures on instagram and i don't understand why she okay no let me say this properly because <laughs> i don't understand why she is liking pictures on instagram of her ex like i typically date men that don't have social media presence so i don't have that problem per se but i don't know if i wouldn't if like, we were cool if i would not not follow them on instagram or not not follow them on whatever other social media platforms there are but i could understand um eric's skepticism with the whole idea of her liking like i feel like why would you bring it up as a thing like oh what happens if i like like just like the picture and keep it moving it's a like <sighs> anywho's and um she keeps talking about these male friends that she have and i'm just like fireball you have introduced eric to two guys please don't be coming up with no barrage of boys and a barrage of boyfriends that you have and expecting your husband to be comfortable with that i'm just like you need to calm down collect some girlfriends and hang out with your girlfriends but you can't be in a marriage and just be out here talking about guy friends guy friends guy friends like it's gonna it's overbearing because i'm just like you are married like not saying that she's supposed to ignore her friends but like there's a thin line between you're married and you can have all these guy friends and sleep over on their couch because i'm still not over that madness so <laughs> when he said that she said um oh she don't know if to argue or just get annoyed eric's response was and i was surprised eric's response was like you do get annoyed <laughs> and i was just like no -uh, like does she get annoyed a lot and we just don't see because i was just like why would he say all of that and on the side note i wrote down fireball needs to detox her skin um i don't know if this is down to the drinking but she has some very large pores i said this like maybe two episodes ago but she needs to detox her skin like it's about time baby girl you're 26 27 like your skin should not look like that there's no way like you're still producing collagen like it's okay please go and detox your skin so then we go into a scene where <laughs> oh dr viviana so this episode was where dr viviana was basically making the wrongs in all the couples and stuff like that so she makes the wrongs at eric's and virginia and you know what I wrote that Eric strikes me as a Trump supporter. Now I don't know <laughs> why, but like when I look at Eric and I listen to the way Eric speaks and the fact that him and Virginia do not agree on social issues and this becomes a problem or might potentially become a really big problem in their relationship, I'm just like Eric out here voted for Trump. <laughs> Just like because Eric is talking about how 
he's part of the military and you know like like basically making it seem like the military people in the military have certain ideologies and as a result he has the ideologies because he comes from a military background his father is military and i'm just like eric mm, i'm very sure people in the military have different opinions in contrary, you know, contrary to yours, and I was just like, Eric, did you storm the Capitol? Allegedly, let me just drop that in there real quick because you know, I ain't trying to get into trouble, but I'm just saying, like, for comedic relief, <laughs> Eric, were you there <laughs> today? We're drinking a glass of Bailey's, mm. something like because pretty early here still, so <laughs> but yeah, I'm just like. Mm. But why Viviana is exploring the idea of the whole different views and different strokes for different folks, Eric is very adamant about like, I'm not changing and she's not changing and these are my problems. But he said something that just struck me the wrong way where he was like, she has the problem. No baby boy. Like, you guys are going to raise kids. You, you cannot, you can't have conflicting views. But these views can only conflict when both partners can understand that each of you have different things going on for each other. Whereas I feel like Eric is pretty much gonna be like very militant with his kids. I am I I, I can foresee that. I, I can see that happening. And as much as he's trying to make it up here that he is open to Fireball having her own views, I don't think so. Especially since Fireball has already disclosed also that her father thinks very much like Eric. I think Eric is gonna lobby up, <laughs> become allies with his father-in-law, and Virginia is gonna lose out. But we'll see what happens because I know it's a problem. And then we spoke about her having kids and um, she being undecided about having kids. And I think that's okay, cause like now that I'm this age, now I want kids. Before I was very much undecided in terms of was I undecided? Well, I think I was more undecided about marriage, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I was undecided about you know like mm, do I really give? I can really just live my life, but like give her time. I think she's gonna come into it, and then when she finds like if Eric turns out to be the guy that she's supposed to be with, he's loving and caring. I think she's going to want to have kids. Like I think he just needs to give her time because as we go into it, we're gonna notice, or when you go into this episode, you're gonna notice that she. Is afraid of having kids because of how her parents' divorce and um, marital problems affected her, and she doesn't want her kids to experience that. And I think that's a legit fear. That's a, a honest fear to have. And he just needs to give her time. I think she's gonna want to have kids. He just needs to give her time. He can't push it, but he's proper. Like I'm not waiting ten years to have kids. I'm just like Eric. First of all, you're thirty four. And it's not gonna take her 10 years to decide. You just need to actually give her time. You guys only met like almost a month ago. So just suave, it's okay, it is okay. So now we go on to Clara and Ryan. And you know what, my first line on here is Ryan gets on my nerves because Ryan gets on my nerves. Like I don't understand why he annoys me so much. Like he really does. And you know, like they're playing this game of like, what will cause you, what, what, what will cause you to have sex with me or not want to have sex with me or some crap like that and he's like trust i was like trust what right and what about clara you don't trust this girl be talking 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 she's telling you everything from the get-go what do you not trust and then to find out when dr viviana was there they're doing everything but having actual sexual intercourse like do people understand the oral sex is sex Ryan, I know his parents are like pastors and he's probably like worried about the image for the church. I don't know. I, listen, I can be no PK. But, 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 <laughs> but I couldn't be no PK. But let me tell you, you are married. I'm in the eyes of the law and before God. Like, God wants you to have sex with your wife. Uh -huh. Amen. Somebody say amen. God, <laughs> let me drink this and shut up. <laughs> God wants you to have sex with your wife. So if you don't whip it out because Cara, Clara is getting annoyed. She is getting frustrated. You can see she's frustrated. She sounds frustrated. She sounds confused. And I can understand. But we are not going to slide over the fact that Clara has never had the emotional connection that comes with sex. And that is problematic. So both of them need healing from the inside out. He needs to go speak to somebody 
and she needs to go speak to somebody because like sex has meaning sex has emotive um connections to it like you don't like obviously i know people are like yeah you can have sex with whoever but like having sex with people like there's an emotional connection and this is why people say like if the emotional connection is there the sex is usually better because you're connecting two bodies two souls so i don't understand this whole i never had sex that had any meaning behind of it and i feel like she feel viviana brought up the fact that she might be feeling shame i don't know if it's so much shame as in she feels empty because sex has emotion like she she grew up in church like she understands the emotional ties that comes with sex so i don't understand how she feels like it's okay for her to go have experience sex with any with, with alt void of, uh. have you ever had a dreams that that you um you had you 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 could you do experience sex void of emotions i'm not sure um what that's about but i want her to get that checked because that's not how it's supposed to go that's not how it's supposed to go so then we get to vincent and brianna they didn't really have anything going on for them this episode you know like viviana dr viviana turned up to discuss everything um we addressed vincent's you know champagne vini we discussed his emotional maturity because he is a three-year-old he considers himself not delicate but he is delicate do not tumble dry watch on the gentle cycle don't spin dry like he is delicate he's like phyllo pastry do you know what phyllo pastry is where if you tear it it just rips all the way down like he is phyllo pastry he is delicate so I don't understand <laughs> what he means by he's not delicate, but I understand. Vinny, champion Vinny, you know what champion Vinny is? It's a, a Spanish man. <laughs> if you guys grew up in the islands, let me tell you. You know how Spanish men are? They have egos. They're very like that bravado. Vinny is a Spanish man. Like, listen, and this is why I'm not even taking him on too tough, but let me tell you why. <laughs> it's just playing out like he's very emotionally immature because he just be overacting for everything but listen vini is just a spanish man trying to impress his wife child and you know what i ain't even mad at him i'm just saying you need to calm down because this girl is gonna run for the hills the americans don't understand i'm sorry to say but y'all don't and you know what <laughs> i understand vini is just a spanish man a dominican with an ego and some spanish man bravado <laughs> and you know i'd even mad at him but i hope he, he gets it checked but he did apologize which i did appreciate because there's one thing to be like this but then it's the next thing to don't even have any remorse for your action because like he really did blow up on um what's her name he did really blow up on brianna for absolutely no reason so i'm glad that he apologized i respected that and you know they had a good laugh about it and then further on in the episode they had like this um he like planned like i don't know i call it a food dinner date i don't know and they were just playing like different things that it was like a truth or dare thing and you know they would just feed each other they had some light little snacks there you know like i think those were ritz crackers they look like ritz crackers and i have not had ritz crackers in a while and imagine i was in the caribbean in january <laughs> never dawned on me to have ritz crackers but they had some Ritz crackers and some cheddar cheese and um, some grapes and fruits. You know, just little snacks and whipped cream. I'm just like, yes, Vinny. I hope they used it properly after the cameras left because, you know, you can have some fun with those things. But anywho, um, yeah, that, that was basically all. They didn't really have any, like, strong development. To be fair, the whole episode was kind of drag, drag, drag. But it was cool to see people stand to make some steps in the right direction. Some couples, you know, like opening the conversations and having different conversations and stuff. And then we talk about Haley and Jacob. And I don't know where we are with them. Like, they're not arguing as much, at least not on camera. But Haley is still not there. And, you know, I think like we want her to try because we think Jacob is cool. But one, he needs to eat more food. And this has always been. <laughs> This will always be my rhetoric when we're having a review. He needs to eat more food than potato and steak, first of all. Second of all, I feel like because of how 
hmm, defensive he's been every time something's happened he he's very he's very much ready to argue rather than have a conversation and then the times when they've argued sometimes he's had the conversation in his head and then argues about the conversation that he's had in his head like she's supposed to be able to deal with this guys this is makeup on the back of my hand like nothing is wrong with it but um he's having these conversations by himself and then arguing about the conversation he had by himself and that shit is crazy <laughs> First of all, that shit is crazy. And two, like, that's a stranger. You're, you're married, but you have to allow her space to have these conversations with you. You're supposed to allow her space to have these conversations with you. And I don't think he's doing that. And I think as a result, she's feeling very shut off. And then the whole 80s vibe and him just having these dry jokes. <laughs> so Dr. Viviana comes around and she tells them to... um. You know, like, walk, try and walk it out and, like, start in the bedroom. So, like, in the morning, kiss good morning, at night, a kiss, a hug, a cuddle, a squeeze, a spoon. You know what I mean? And Jacob's face was, like, excitement, but Hailey said, no, baby, we're not doing that. We are not doing that. Then we go into another scene and it opens up with Jacob saying, I just brushed my teeth. <laughs> I can't sneak in a kiss now. <laughs> but Hailey was just like, <laughs> she's making me laugh because like I f I personally feel she's trying I don't even think she's just just intentionally not doing these things but I genuinely think she doesn't find him attractive and I feel like fundamentally I think they they don't have very very, very similar love languages I don't believe her long language is physical touch I do not believe her love language is words of affirmation. I feel her love language may potentially be quality time. However, because he and this 80s vibes and the fact that every time they're together, they argue or he ends up saying something just out of pocket, I feel like that has just completely turned her off. And I don't think she knows how to start the train back on the track. I feel like she is just going and hoping like oh my gosh like, it'll change but she's hurting on the inside like she just keeps crying like the girl is breaking down on national television <laughs> and i feel for her because while i think jacob is cute in terms of like i think it's not in terms of look per se but like cute as in oh like he likes the 80s and oh he's quirky and oh he's different i don't know if i would like him because let me tell you that first, first, you know what turned me off of Jacob in the first place was the whole steak and eggs. <laughs> was it steak and eggs? Why was I saying potato? Did I say potato? But yeah, the steak and egg, green eggs and ham. And I was just like, see, I can do that. Like I was dating a guy recently that, what did he used to eat? I actually don't know, just snacks. Why did I think there was something else? Potatoes? Oh yes, just fries and like junk food and man, I can't like I'm Caribbean. I like being in the kitchen. I be cooking like, all the time. <laughs> I can't. So like even stuff down to stuff like that. You can't even go to a restaurant and him he eat properly. Like we can't always be at steakhouses. So I just feel like they're just not attracted. Like it's not even the age. It's genuinely they are not on the same wavelength. Like he's going not. She headed south. It's not gonna work i think they're gonna break up in the end but maybe they'll pull through but based on the previews of next episode no that ship done sailed jacob is on the dock waving saying you've left me and Haley turned off long time <laughs> um is that everybody brianna clara fireball Haley, and now we got to talk about the two jagger back then because i don't understand why Paige is doing what she's doing. I understand wanting to uphold your covenant. No, I grew up in church, so I understand this whole covenant vibe, but um, what covenant? What covenant? Is this my eyelashes coming off? What covenant? What covenant? Like, what is she on about? Like, girl, this dude. Okay, anyways, let's go through this chronologically based on this. The the, the 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 episode so they were on a reset right building a friendship this is no fr listen 
y'all are married no we're trying to build a friendship so that this lasts because the marriages built on top of friendships are the best you need to actually like your partner because you know love fades and comes in and fades and goes out but you need to actually like your partner but um baby girl don't have this dude or hair friend zoning you in the wisest way possible so then it looks like she's been calling him Should I call first? I can't decide. I want to, but got pride. Like, no. Why are you calling him? Like, I would like <laughs> to see the dude that would have me calling him one time, two times, three times, four, five times, six times, seven times more. Like, what? You think I'm waiting around for you? Why are you trying to make a grown adult? call you you're just ringing up his phone so he could make it seem like you're the crazy person because i swear i believe men did do that <laughs> i'm convinced men do stuff like that they have you ring them ring them ring them and then they laugh about it with their friends don't be the, the joke of the group the group chat like what's wrong with you Paige? So anyways he ain't picking it up and then she sat down there in her clothes there texting 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 so she goes to the door, he knocks on the door, and he comes on the screen. I was just, I could just slap that boy. Like, I don't know how her spirit is now vexed. Like, why does she have Holy Ghost anger to just slap Chris whenever she see him? Like, I be, whole, I be here so angry for her. And I'm just like, this girl is doing all of this. Like, I don't even want to feel for her anymore. I'm just frustrated with the both of them. But him, I just want to box him down just hit him a hard slap and correct his brain so anyways he sits on the couch and um they they do pleasantries oh you look nice blah, blah, blah. sister sister viviana child dr viviana comes to the door he's with his rude big forehead ram talking about oh this is your house so the boy y'all was supposed to be living there go and get the door like who raised you like what's wrong with getting the door go to the door no so she goes to the door he comes in and then you know so, <laughs> dr viviana is just like you know you're different to the person i met and he was just like you know like the marriage and the baby i'm depressed and i was like your marriage is making you depressed chris okay cool and i'm just like Paige, are you listening you know the thing is it's not even so much that he is saying things that make her want to stay is the fact that when he's not speaking to her this dude be speaking the loudest like listen to what he's saying listen to the way he's using the english language listen to how he's using his words how he's articulating himself about you your situation not the baby but the marriage listen to his verbiage and she's just existing <laughs> She's just existing, and I'm just like, girl, get it together. So then, she blurts out. So Dr. Vivian asks her why she stays, and she blurts out, well, the woman that God intended me to be was to be a supportive wife, babes. That is true. But he intended you to be a supportive wife to a man that loved you the way Christ loved the church. Okay. We always are here selectively reading a good book, but that's what he said. That's what it says. So, anyways, Dr. Viviana said, Okay, so what do you want from him? She's like, A call. This is, anyways, let me not say that, right? But, A call. Girl, this is your husband. He is your husband. You want a call from your husband or do you want him in the neutral marital home that the show has provided for you guys? He can, he don't have to sleep in the same bedroom. Look, take a page out of Haley's and Jacob's book. He can sleep in the other bedroom. He is your husband by legal and by law. And you want a call. What is the call going to do? When you guys call each other, what's going to happen? What are you guys going to talk about? Because I've seen the two of them together. They sit there in silence. 
<clears throat> okay. So, Chris carries on, and Chris puts his hand up to the camera, and I was like, where is Chris's ring? How has no one brought that up? Like, he's not wearing it. <laughs> Chris is not wearing his ring, but, <laughs> okay. Body language is 75% of communication, right? First of all, they couldn't be further apart. Paige is in one corner. Chris barely on the couch. If Paige, if Chris had sneezed, he would have just slid off the couch. He just like cooch up all. No, 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 no. This dude don't want to be. He doesn't want to work on anything. And she's staying. She's staying talking about I want a phone call, a simple phone call. And then he's talking about he feel pressured to ring somebody. Okay, so then they decide to plan their times because he's just like, no, he just prefers to be in person, blah, 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 blah. Okay, they're planning their days. She took up paper and pen and started to make a whole calendar. I'm just like, girl, listen. So then they've decided, oh, Thursday, this, th Friday, that. So they're doing Bible study. He suggested Bible study. She can hold Bible study and he can bring the food. This dude came in the kitchen with some fried food. Fried chicken, you know. <laughs> this is Sunday. Listen, now I ain't got nothing wrong. I I don't have anything against fried foods or fried chicken or chicken. Period. Like chicken is just not my favorite meat, but chicken. Okay, cool. Um, it's Sunday. Bring the girl some steak and eggs. <laughs> Bring her some steak and eggs. Like, feed her well. <laughs> what What is with this fried chicken from Harold's or Chicago's chicken or whatever that is? But yeah, so he comes with chicken. They're eating the chicken. Then she asked him to pray about it. Pray, pray, pray over the food. And he was just like, no, she should do it. So she does. And then they're doing the Bible study. And they read from Isaiah 55. I don't need to even need to look down. Because when they read this scripture, I was just like, it is so fitting. Because she said that she wanted to find a scripture about friendship. And being friends or blah, 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 blah. Or building a friendship. Or what friends are. Like, what characteristics um, is fitting for a friend. And how you show up in your friendships. Stuff. And they're reading Isaiah 55. It started off by saying the wicked. Let me wait, 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 wait. Let the wicked leave their way of life. Dot, 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 dot. I was just like, Basura, he is the wicked. This scripture was so fitting, so, so, so fitting. Even in his explanation, I was just like, Does Basura know he is describing himself? He's talking about himself. And you know what's funny? Anyways, cool. We can just leave that. One of these days, I might make something very similar or story time. So then, Basuda then stops and say, I have something to say. Then, you know, Lifetime, with their long drawn out pauses to build suspense. He bought the mother of his child a Mercedes Benz. And I was just like, this is it. Paige is there looking like a idiot. Her goat. Over basuda's choice he's just like but a new car i was just like is that your biggest problem if you don't let this family be and file for divorce yourself mark your name on the dotted line and file for divorce yourself like leave this guy and his family like y'all don't need to be together you don't need to be supporting anybody that is not even there for you mentally like he doesn't care about you he doesn't care about your union. He doesn't care. And why would he go and buy this girl a new Mercedes? Why did it even have to be a Mercedes? Like, how cheesy is that shit? Her name is Mercedes. Like, calm down. There's, there's no creative nuance in this shit. Like, it's cheesy. They are getting on my nerve. This episode was dead, but Paige and Chris continue to get on my nerve day in and day out. I don't know who do I believe is gonna stay together I honestly believe Paige and Chris might stay together because I think she is that delusional she is that delusional that she might stay to support her husband but you know what my sis fight the good fight of faith I think Haley and Jacob are gonna break up 
I think Clara and Ryan have a chance if Ryan like pull out the sh <laughs> you know if Ryan pull out the stops you know Vincent and Brianna are gonna make it and Fireball and Eric are gonna make it but I think eventually down the line they're gonna break up when it comes time to having kids and addressing those social issues that Ryan said that he doesn't care about but you know what a way to be <laughs> in 2021 so anyways guys this is the end of my video thank you guys for watching i'm gonna finish my drink and i am i have a lot of work to do so i'm gonna go and do some work and i will see you guys in my next video remember to like comment share and subscribe in the comment section tell me what you think about what has gone on in this episode what are your thoughts on the couples are we still out here supporting Paige? Because I still try to figure out where is her family. Bye, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're rocking with my content and rocking with this look, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. If you love to see me create any makeup look and speak about any topic, just leave your suggestions in the comment section down below and I'll be definitely picking those up. And remember, stay beautiful inside and out.